Hello, this video is going to show you how to tap into an RS-232 cable and record data in the background from both directions. This can apply to many kinds of equipment. The recording process does not interfere with existing system operation. Unpack the equipment. Power supply. Model TG recorder. Simple and common one gigabyte memory card or greater. And instructions. And a TTAP device cable assembly. Starting the recorder. Place the memory card in first. Then add the power. Plug the DC power in. And notice the front panel LEDs will blink and they'll also beep, giving you assurance that it started correctly. This is a, a modem that we're going to use. We're going to T tap the modem. Disconnect the DB25 connector on the modem cable. Plug in the T-TAP device. Our recorder is set at 57 uh, kbaud, which is going to be the modem speed. And we're going to go online with the PC. Now the recorder is going to record the conversation in the background from both directions. As you can see, it's only taken two minutes to hook up and begin recording. The red LED indicates uh, data being received. Each byte will illuminate the red LED. Pages are downloading fine. The red blinking LED is the data being received. Each byte that the recorder receives, it'll flash the red LED. When you have recorded enough data, you can remove the memory card or the whole recorder unit without disrupting the internet download. The pages are still downloading. Removing the memory card. Unplug the unit first before ejecting the card. Now read the card on a PC. Use Notepad, for example. Notice channel 1 and channel 2 are text labeled. There's the TCP IP data. Now you can record more data. Put the card in first, then power up. And listen for the beeps. That helps confirm proper operation. Any new data you record will be appended to the original data. You don't have to use a DB25 tap. You can also use the DB9 version of the tap. If you need to record RS-485 or current loop, please inquire. 
because the recorder is dual channel, you can't go wrong. It will always record, transmit, or receive lines, or both, without you having to reverse pins and wasting time trying to figure things out. There you go, done. Here we attach to a PC COM port to test the unit. The ticking sound is like data writing to a disk drive. It helps give you assurance that the card is being written to. Each tick is produced after a block of data is written to the card. Remember to remove the power before removing the card. Change the settings of the recorder by making a config.txt file on the card. Then you can edit it on a PC. Push the red button while powering up. Wait for the beeps to stop. And read the card on a PC. Use Notepad. Edit the list of settings, including the clock calendar, and return the card back to the recorder. Power up and wait for the beeps to stop. That's it! Now you're in record mode, waiting for data.